time we got technical now. We're joined now by Thomas Nagel, who joins us from Equinet. Thomas, um, the safe haven plays have worked very well today, but just walk us through the charts for the food and beverage stocks. Yeah, hi Guy here from Frankfurt. Today I think um, the most important or most interesting index, sub-index for the European sector is the Dow Jones Food and Beverage Index. Um, you know, within the last days and weeks we saw something like a strong outperformance of the index. We saw an upside break from a consolidation triangle within the last days and weeks. And so I think these index was, had a really good chance to be a, the former outperformer for this, uh, a sub-index for, for Europe. And uh, so I think everybody should take a look at this one. For instance, if you're interested in some single stocks from this index, take a look to Unil lever, the um, Netherlands stock, and um, here we saw a breakout I think two weeks ago and a strong isolation with the latest figures of uh, Unilever some weeks ago, and this isolation um, bring back the, the price to a really important target around a really big important resistance, and if you see a break of this level, I think a further isolation in the stock is, is in play, I think, yeah. The banks obviously are the, are the other end of the spectrum, I take it. Yeah. Uh, do you remember we spoke about this uh, last two, uh, two weeks ago and the banks are a big, big problem of, uh, of today, of the last days, UBS, Deutsche Bank and so on. But I think uh, there will be a small chance that the level of 4460, 4440 will be the big one. Um, today's overshooting on the upside, let's see if it isn't overshooting or not. In my opinion, we formed a really, really important and interesting bullish wedge within the last weeks and, and months. And if we see an upside break from this wedge, uh, I think the party on the downside will be over and uh, let's take a look if it will happen or not. And the last one, uh, you know, um, uh, take a look to the SOX index, the Philadelphia Semiconductors, that means the chip stocks itself. And here you see the relative performance to the S&P 500 and that's really, really a bad, bad view so far because um, in July of this year, the stock, uh, this is index was one of the outperform in America, but this outperformance uh, is gone away and so we have a clear underperformance of a break of a really, really big important uh, support and as long as the index itself is below 470, I think the index has no chance for recovery and will be a former underperformer, of course. Thomas, interesting charts. Thank you for bringing them to yeah. us. Thomas Nuggle joining us from Equinet.